Hello everyone, welcome to Undergrave. This is a new tactical roguelike where we need to manage stamina to move up, down, left and right, throw our weapon, throw our weapon, dash and otherwise try and survive each gridded level. It came out three days ago on July 13th as I record and we're just going to hit spacebar here. We'll go through the introduction if you want to skip it, there'll be timestamps below and then we'll just get into the gameplay. So, I'm on a boat. That is all I know. I don't recall any of the lore specifically from the demo. Nice of the boat to drive itself, though. Welcome to the Void Realm, Traveller. Unlike most stories, you will not start at the beginning, nor at the end. This is an ongoing story being written as we go. Look around you. You may think you died, but nothing here will be so easy to conquer, even death. Use your skills, pray to your gods, you will need it. Good luck. Alright, I don't know if that relates to the roguelike nature of things, but here we are at Seal Tower. We can move up, down, left and right. We have HP and action points in the top left corner, and we can gather our sword. So now dashing, throwing, and jumping cost more stamina, perhaps? And we'll go through the teleportery looking square. Forgotten Graveyard. That is a lot of levels across the top. All right, starting us off easy. We move one, they move one. Let's throw our weapon. Yeah. All right, just the one to kill then. We're out of here. Level two. Three enemies here. Now, if I move to the left and they move one towards me, will they immediately attack or will they have to take a turn to move then a turn to attack separately? Let's find out. They attack us immediately. That's good to know. Let's throw that all the way to here and hopefully destroy two creatures. No, the one in front of us is still alive, I think. So let's jump to our sword then. All right, this is not ideal. Can you get on my line, please? Thank you. All right. Well, at least we know where we don't want to be and that our sword does not pierce through multiple enemies, at least not yet. All right, let's try dashing this way. Uh, a green blob? I would like a green blob. Let's dash this way. What are the green blobs? Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah. It's filling up the green bars underneath our AP. I don't know what that's about. Let's dash this way. And the level transition spawned directly underneath us, I guess. Our AP has refilled. Dash me that way dash me that way again right there's a green blob there but i can't take the green blob without getting hit again can i throw off axis i can good okay let's do that then throw directly in front of us again all right it's working out well all right, 
Reaching the upgrade rooms saves your progress and your upgrades. You can now close the game and resume it later. Leaving the game in any other room will reset your current run progress. So, choices then. Light throw. Throw costs 1 AP less. Heal for 3. Skills can be used when AP is at 1. Give me a light throw, please. And then we'll be on our way. At least we know healing is possible. All right, dash me downwards because we'll stop at that tombstone. Then I think I'm correct in saying every time we take a step, we get one AP back. So that's how we need to manage things over time. They can't attack us on a diagonal. We can simply throw to where they are. Very good. And our perk listed at the top there on the right-hand side of our HP bar. Right, this is less ideal. With them all kind of being enemy, space, enemy, space, enemy, in lots of places where we have an opportunity to hit them, they will have an opportunity to move one and hit us, which does not seem ideal. This looks all right, though. We can throw there. No, we can't. Okay, I've gotten myself into some trouble. Can I dash through two of you? I absolutely can. We get an achievement for that. And dash over there again. VAP charge. Or AP charge. Press V. For, okay. I'm assuming that if my AP is empty, I can now press the V key and get a full AP bar in a pinch, which is a nice to have. More HP would be nicer, but I understand. Can I? No, I don't have a mouse cursor to hover over my foes to query what they're all about, so. Oh, they move too, the mice or the rats. Definitely worth knowing. I should have clocked it on the first movement, but that's fine. Can two of you line up, please. This will do. Let's dash into them. Then we can... Jump? Can I jump onto them? I cannot. That's fine. We can jump to safety, and that's what matters. Um... Let's throw there, because now we can catch our sword back before they catch up with us on the alternate side. And we carry on. Alright, if we can get through this, we get another room that offers us some kind of a boon. Which will probably be HP, given the option. Right, let's dash into that rat. And if we were to dash again, we get far enough away that this guy can't catch up to us. Right, the green orbs that we didn't collect just noped out of there. That's fine. And... We can't throw at that angle, even though we can throw two away. So, wait for them to catch up, then throw. And we'll see if we can't upgrade with some HP now. What have you got for me? Heal plus three, last breath, evasive maneuvers. Drastically increase your jump range without your weapon. Give me the heal. Kinda need it. And what do we have going on different here? 
four enemies and a rat. Fairly expected. Right, let's charge. If we charge, we will get attacked. So let's not do that. Let's do that instead. Ah, oh, that's a bad time. That is a very bad time. Okay. How far can I jump? Uh, we can jump to here. That will keep us safe. Then... I can jump to here. God, I need to get them far away from my sword. Can I dash? I, I don't even want to dash there because I would be where the arrow sits and then where the arrow currently sits is one tile away from a foe. What if we go this way? And then that way. I have I have problems. I have problems. Um back to jumping. If I jump on my weapon, I wonder if I kill the things next to it. Because that's the only way I can see to really get out of this problem. Oh, it says jump and then left. Oh, it parries them away. That is excellent knowledge. Oh, that was dumb and bad. And they never line up where you want them to, do they? Let's throw. All right, I'm learning. Getting separated from your sword is a bad thing. Who knew? I mean, I should have known better, let's be honest. Okay. Can I dash through the both of you? Absolutely can. Give me some more AP charge things. Right, now I really want to kill the rat. And not get stuck. Right. Throw that there, then jump to it. And we'll be just fine. Thanks ever so much. That's new. Top right corner. They look like a fun new friend. Right. You can get very dead. I wish I could push a button to rest in place. I don't know if V would do that. We can find out. Nope. Okay. Okay. Right, we can't jump. This thing is only moving one tile at a time. We can dash through there, though, to safety. Do you want me to hit you left? Okay, they have 2 HP then, I guess. Interesting. Interesting. Let's charge through there as well. And back. And back again. Love it when a plan works out. Oh boy. That's a lot of chunky enemies, isn't it? We 
dash here safely. Then I think I can jump. I can't jump here safely. What about there? Stun the rat. Uh, if we jump again, I can't. I don't have enough AP. All right, that one's dead this time. Give me my charge. Okay, it's worth four AP to me. Good to know. Oh, you dummy. I'm still working on the wrong premise of move, attack, move, attack, rather than move and attack for foes. I'll learn. Another chance for a boon. They offer me healing again. They do. Last breath. Light dash. Dash costs one AP less. I mean, I should probably take the heal if we want this run to last. All right, only three rooms. Then we are on to some kind of a boss fight, it seems. Oh, God. That's not advisable, I don't think. I need to get this rat. Uh, let's do this. We knock those two away. Then we can dash the rat. Good stuff. Now we need some AP. So we can move downwards. If we throw, they move. We move, they move. We don't get our blade back. So we're going to have to dash if we want to hurt them here. Oh dear. No, this is fine. Because they don't have a ranged attack. Then we can dash through both of them. Don't know why that guy was glowing. Seems very dangerous to me. But now we can quite happily just take out the rest of the riffraff here. Give me back some AP. And we'll be just fine. We can probably throw. No, we can't throw from here. Alright, let me just jump on you then. Now that we have the mana for it. The AP. Uh, just about the same number of foes here, I think. Let's dash downwards. That guy's glowing. I don't know if he's going to explode or whether it just still has health left. Well, it's dead now. I really don't want to be here. If I throw my weapon... It's throw, step, step. They would go throw, step, step, attack. That would not work out for us. So, yeah, I should have saw that coming because they can move too, of course. Oh, come on, line up. They never do what you want them to, do they? But we're all right. We're alive. Is this the penultimate room? It is. We've got five HP still. It's good going, I think. Rat right there is a problem. Is 
stash down here. Then throw there. Oh dear. I have made an error. Yeah, big, big error. Can I jump on you and retrieve my sword and kill stuff? I can. Man, there's so many minor permutations that you don't think about the first time round. And then you experiment, you learn stuff, and it works out pretty well all in all. Some more AP, please. That's perfect. Alright, so, boss time, I think. Hello. Remus the Beastmaster. Alright, that is a big health bar at the top there. Can you move three or four tiles? We might have to utilize throwing a bit more here. Yeah, that works. Another rat. Get my blade back. Throw again. That is bad timing for us. So it's going to be, what, like, eight hits, ten hits, something like that? We just have to wait for them to make errors when moving that allow us to strike. Because if they play these mechanics perfectly, you assume they'd be fine. But they're programmed to occasionally give us the opportunity to actually hit them. like some of that. That seems like it's going to help me. Oh, yeah, that was an error. Dash away so we don't get hit a second time. Throw over here. Come on. Stay even remotely still for a second. Uh, might as well hit them while we have the chance. Oh. Okay, then. That's rude. Alright, I got absolutely wrecked there. I concede that much. Double rats are, like, a problem. That's me dead, isn't it? Damn it. And we are back at the seal tower. Now, these other ones are not currently colored. I guess there might be other adventures, other places to go and try and see. But for right now, we're going to have to attempt this one again on another occasion. For now, though, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you want to find Undergrowth for yourself, there'll be a link down in the description below. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, you can put those down in the comments below. Otherwise, um, after that, I'll see you again another time. Cheers.